also face those two threats. Well, and speaking of Iran, you, you were vehemently opposed to the nuclear deal with Iran. You've you, you could say that. Just <laughs> continued to be outspoken uh, in your views on that topic. Now, President Trump has laid out what he sees as the flaws in the deal and how it should be fixed. Do you think the deal can be fixed, and what do you think the U.S. position? Well, I don't think that we can sit down with uh, the Ayatollahs and try to renegotiate a new deal. We're not, that's not going to be successful. It'll take 18 months to even agree on which five-story resort they want to meet at in Switzerland. Uh, and it'll take 18 months just to set out the schedule of meetings. What we can do as United States and in concert with Europe is say, these are the flaws with the deal the last administration negotiated, and this is what we're going to do if Iran ever goes beyond, say, the number and the kinds of centrifuges it's spending, spinning, or the missiles that it's testing, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, that doesn't require us to go back to Iran to negotiate a deal. It just says if Iran takes these actions, which unfortunately they are in many cases allowed to do under the nuclear deal, we will take these very severe punitive actions as And make well. that public. Lay oh, yeah, make that public. public. I mean, we can pass legislation in the Congress that would reflect that. We'd want the European, uh, the three European partners to, to make that same commitment to us as well, to make it a multilateral agreement, too. Mm -hmm. Well, and beyond the nuclear question, Iran's regional aggression, as you know, has continued to expand. We see it in Syria and Yemen and Iraq. Do you think the U.S. has a strategy to counter Iran in the region? Is it, is it an effective strategy and one that would stop Iran from cementing that position in Syria on Israel's border? Certainly more so than we did 18 months ago. Uh, we're moving in the right direction in terms of the sanctions actions that the administration has taken against specified Iranian persons and organizations, um, against the, you know, the, the personnel that we now have present in Syria, some of the diplomatic um, relationships we've built, not just, again, with Israel, but with like-minded nations in the GCC, like the United Arab Emirates. Um, we still have some work to do there, but the most fundamental point is that this administration sees Iran for what it is, for an, an aggressive, theocratic regime that is exporting violence and instability around the region. Not, not a partner, not someone that we can turn the neighborhood over with and hope that there's a balance between Iran and its allies and Saudi Arabia and its allies. Uh, so there's still some more practical steps to take. Um, but we've come a long way in the last 18 months. And finally, um, and, and 